Hello everyone, I'm Ivan and today we continue deal with MATLAB and uh, we consider building graphs in MATLAB and especially talking about plot function. Thus, come back to our MATLAB. Uh, I, I will use uh, pre-installed in my PC MATLAB and uh, first of all I will prepare to use uh, script coding thus uh, I will create new script by clicking new script here and uh, let's try to uh, input some variables to put uh, some dependence for building a graph. First of all, let's specify description of our code. Thus, if you remember, it will be plotting uh, in MATLAB. Then I will specify my name, Ivan. Then date, it will be January uh, 23rd. 2022 okay and uh, as you remember each code in MATLAB we will start from CLC clear clear wars and close all because today we will use uh, figures uh, for input some data. Then let's save uh, our code. It will be lesson 3m. I will use usual uh, script for coding because it is quite simple code. Let's create argument for some trigonometric function. For example, x will be equal from uh, 1 to 360 with a step 1. Also, I protect printing results in common windows as a put semicolon. Then y will be equal sine d from x multiply with a cosine d from uh, to multiply with x. The, it will be my function and then I will run it. Okay, just a second. Uh, and we see that I've got a mistake that inner matrix dimension must be agree. Uh, and this is error of using multiplication of matrices. Because uh, because uh, x is a matrix, thus we should use uh, multiplication by elements. And if we run now, we will not have this problem. Also, we've got x and we've got y. Then let's uh, try to get some plotting of this data. First of all, let's create figure. Usually, if you plot one graph, you do not need to use figure function. But if you would like, if you prefer get uh, many figures in your script, I recommend to use figure function to specify like uh, uh, division between uh, plotting results. Thus, figure function uh, and uh, that's all. In this case we will, cre we will uh, create a new window and in this window we will put all plotting results. Also, uh, here we can specify a color and title of figure.
thus we can specify color it is a properties and then we can specify as a string white in this case our figure will be white then we can specify property name and uh, then we should to enter variable for our name it will be my figure one okay next uh, we are ready to use uh, some plot facilities as plot of uh, x comma y and then we can specify color for this graph uh, for example we 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 can use um, simplified input for line specification and marker and color in this case we can specify uh, like dotted line red with O marker and uh, if we run our script we will get something like that uh, please uh, take attention that title of this window is my fig one which we enter here color of body of this window is white and uh, property of uh, our line is the following all the list of possible descriptors you can find in help uh, for your MATLAB just click help then type plot plot 2d lines yep and here you've got description and if you scroll it down you will see uh, specifiers for uh, line type solid line dash line dotted line dash dotted line uh, then marker type uh, here you have got uh, code for this marker and uh, how it looks like described in letters and um, short titles of colors that's yellow, magenta, sayat, red, green, blue, white, and black. Will be specified by the following uh, letters. Black is specified by K because B is a blue. Okay, uh, if we come back uh, to our plot, next let's put some additional data for this plot. First of all, let's specify a title for X label. In MATLAB, we, we use uh, X, X label, and then we can specify title for X label. And in my case, it is X, for example, in uh, degrees, plus we can specify something like that then we if we put semicolon we can continue at the same line y label uh, will be y in y in for example in meters okay who knows then also we can specify title title uh, title function will create a title for our function and it will be uh, my uh, function graph if you run it you will see that we have x label y label and title for our graph but it will not be uh, enough for plotting well graph 
First of all, you, you can see that we've got some problems because uh, our line will not be completed uh, accurately. Thus, we need to specify x limit or limits by x x axis for input data to get uh, more precise uh, description. In this case, we can use x label. Oh, sorry, x lim. Uh, this function specify limits for uh, visible area in plot. Uh, however, here we need to specify in matrix initial uh, point. In our case, it is one, and final point. In our case, is 360. But I would like to prefer to use something like that. Oh, sorry, something like that. Maximum value from x. And if we run this script, you will see that in this case, uh, our x axis will be accurately finished where we would like. Then we can specify grid, grid on or grid off if we, if we do not need it which will help us to identify data in graph. Thus, looks pretty well. Let's add one more graph in our plotted graph. In this case, uh, we can uh, follow by two different ways. First of all, we can add data in plot function or we can use uh, holding of our figure for another input. Thus, let's calculate some another y, like y1 is equal double c multiply with something like that. Uh, and maybe doubled here. Thus, we can use two different ways. Let's try both of them. First of all, we can put comma and then specify x matrix, coordinates of uh, points by x axis. Then we can specify y1. And then uh, we could specify color, line specification. For example, it will be green uh, and marker like like that and if you run it you will see what we have okay uh, if you have more than one graph it makes sense to put legend thus let's add legend here legend we have same function and here we have specified title for first graph. For example, uh, first graph and title for second y1 graph. If you run it, We've got legend and also we've got delimiters for uh, both lines. Okay, let's try another approach for uh, plotting. In this case, we will use function hold on. In this case, we will hold uh, current figure for any input and we will use hold off uh, thus here oh, sorry hold off we can copy or we can use plot uh, x comma y2 comma 
and uh, it should be uh, dotted uh, magenta line and uh, let's create y2 y2 it will be just uh, sign uh, d uh, sign d from x if you run it we will get uh, following result and you will see that dotted line uh, is also present here however in legend we do not have it thus if you would like if you would like to add it just uh, add description for our legend thus graph 3 for example let's run it And uh, that's all that I would like to tell you about plotting uh, some graphs. And I will pre prefer if uh, you use all description and all functionality of plot. However, you can tune it for specific purposes, depend on a task which you perform. In this case, uh, help of MATLAB will be very welcome because uh, here you can find any data which you would like specific colors uh, data time format and much more thus uh, for now that's all thank you for uh, be with me uh, see you next time bye